everyone, it's Kathy with Plan Happy With Me and my voice has pretty much returned. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoy what we're going to be doing today in my teacher planner that is really kind of a Franken planner. Um, I use part of Kel of a Plans planner and I took a the weekly pages out and added the teacher planner. So, um, this planner I call All About Me, and the challenge we're going to be accepting today is called Pretty in Pink and Hugs and Kisses for the week of 213, Valentine's Week. And we're going to be accepting those challenges from Decorative, Pla Decorative Planner Challenge and HPTT Challenge. Today I'm going to be using stickers from Perfect Prints Co. And I am going to be using the TBC Nation style, academic style sticker pack. Mojo Jojo Plans, Calava Plan, and yeah, that's probably most of it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is the teacher planner. And... The way I use this is very functional, but it has to be decorative or I won't use it. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but I just struggle if it's not pretty. I don't want to play with it. So, um, I'm going to do my best to make it pretty. So, these, um, it, when you do, do the planner the way that I do, um, it doesn't matter the date here because we're going to redate it anyways. So I'm just going to add these, um, I don't know what you want to call these, category stickers onto the page. Um, there's a very fine dotted line right here. Oops. And I'm just going to butt this up right next to them. And that way I get it to cover the date and still stay in the category. And it gives me a line that I kind of want to, um, I did not figure out order before I put them on, so now we'll do the order, <laughs> um, so that I, it, I, I hate crooked stickers, and this gives me a way to control that, and so, oops, nope, that's crooked, so anyways, this goes on, covers the date, gives me a line that's square. And if I kind of keep to the dotted line, I also get kind of an even space on that side. Um, so, yeah. Now, this is from Perfect Prints Co., this sticker kit. Um, I haven't worked with them yet on my academic planner. So we're going to see how much we have to pull from other stickers to create the um, full um, idea here. That's really cute, really pastel. Okay, so then I'm going to put the date covers on. And one thing I just realized I didn't pull is my category titles, my sleep trackers, and dates. So we'll pull those here after I get the date covers on. Now you can see why it doesn't matter what date your planner or what year your planner is because you're going to put totally new dates in a totally different place. And the dates in the teacher planner are totally covered. So yeah, there's like no, it's very easy to use this planner and this function. Okay, so once I get these date covers on, we'll take a short little break, and I'll pull the things I forgot to pull, and I'll put on those little bitty washi lines because that takes a few minutes, and I still haven't decided if I am can let that go yet kind of um, design because I'm like, well, I got the stickers. I might as well use them not totally convinced I like them not totally convinced I like it without them <laughs> so um, and because that does take a few minutes I will do that off camera so with the placement of this Sunday sticker 
I will um, put you on hold. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And it was just a blink of an eye, right, for you? Um, so I think first I'm going to put the day covers on. These are from Hobby Lobby. And because I really hate dividing up a whole month, but uh, at this point, sometimes you just don't have an, um, a choice. All of my black ones from my Happy Planner sticker book are gone. Um... I have those multicolored ones, which I am not going to be a fan of. I'm going to save those for when I design my new um, school teacher planner um, because I don't keep those teacher planner pages. So I just use them up and then I probably keep them for one year. And then when that year is complete, I'll just dispose of them. And yeah, okay. And I think the black works okay because we do have a little bit of black on the page. So that's that. Now we're going to go ahead and label the categories. I do keep my categories the same every week. And I could change it up. But, <coughs> excuse me. Um, part of it is the regularness of it. I don't have to guess about where I'm going to write something. I just put it where it belongs. And I like that on this particular page. Now this font is a little bit big for these little boxes, but I really like this font. It seemed fun and playful and really kind of just the perfect match for this um, sticker kit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on. If you are gonna use your, um, or create a teacher planner or an all about me planner, um, what would be your categories? Are you going to use something different than mine? I'd like to know what that would be. Um, yeah, ooh, got a little crinkle in that. Come on, it doesn't want to lift off, so we're just going to work that crinkle out. There we go. And then, um, these two I can kind of play with and change it up, they kind of go together. Um, so I sometimes don't look back and see what I had, which came first, the self-care or the goal, because they're very interchangeable for me. Um, I think it's supposed to be self-care on the top. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And I print these myself on clear sticker paper. Um, I usually print quite a few at one time because I really don't like to waste the clear sticker paper so I just um, print like I said several at a time or if I need to print just a quote or something for a page that I'm doing I will finish the page um, with more of these now this never fits in the box and that's I just have to accept it because it's not ever going to fit in the box I decided I'd rather have all of the fonts the same size rather than a bunch of different sizes. And with that realization, it meant that self-care had to be two lines. So I'm okay. I accepted that. You know, you may find that you like the different size fonts so that they all fit in the box. And if that's what speaks to you, wonderful. And you can make these say, of course, anything you want them to say. Um, you know, uh, when I was trying to create, the, use the teacher planner as my um, work planner, I played with this so many different ways. And I just could not get it to work exactly the way that I did wanted it to. But you could say um, math. Uh, read literature, writing, science, you know, and then this is what the student does on every day. Um, I think that's kind of the way it was originally designed, only the other way around, because it's pre predated, right? And we don't have, um, you know, there's no school on the weekend, so there's only five days, um, which I get, um, but, you know, a lot of people, even teachers, we even though we don't work on Saturday and Sunday, we do work. We, we do planning. We do, we get copies made. We go find books. 
And a lot of times we are still working on the weekend. So this does not line up perfectly. It kind of bugs me that it doesn't line up. But I, um, I have played with it enough times to where I said, well, I think I got it. And then when push came to shove, it didn't fit. So I'm tired of playing with it. I switched from a classic, or excuse me, from a big to a classic. And um, I still couldn't get it right. So I just try to keep it in the top portion of the box and make sure that the bottom one is kind of on the line and I'm pretty okay with that then. Okay. Um, so essentially the functional part stuff is over. We still have to fill in our noted, which I'm just going to do one side on camera. And then we have to do our self care and goal and all that. Now this kit has four decorative boxes. So I do one goal, three goals and four self care. So maybe that's what we should do first. Um, so I have uh, one, two, oh, come on, three, four, five, six, seven of these boxes. So we've got just the right amount. Okay, so let's, ooh, let's get these put on where we need them. Normally I don't do all this on my hands, but I needed to count and see how many I had. Okay, so we have seven boxes here, and I just gotta figure out the order of them. We have got two black ones and two light ones and the dark one. The dark one, these are what's gonna actually be written on. Okay, so let's do a light one here, which is gonna be two under self-care. So I'm gonna put, um, I like to do leave that bottom top line so that I can um, have something to line up to. That one is going to be blank. And then we're going to put in one here. So we're going to put this one. No, don't jump the, the fence, Kathy. Okay, so we're going to put this one here. Okay. Now we can fill in the decor. And we're a little bit short on decor. We only have four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be one, two, three, four in the center, and I'll find something that matches from probably Happy Planner stickers to fill in the extra ones. So one, two, three, four in the center. But that has to be the black one. That's the only way it, it works. So let's put that one there, and let's see what else, what other pattern we can come up with. Nice thing about these is you could put them in any direction. And it, oh, it's a little narrow. Interesting. I wonder if it is supposed to go like this. So let's put this one on Valentine's Day. Okay. And then the, um, this one can go here. And then the mugs, I'm going to put them up here. Yeah, and then I need to find one, two, three things to fill in. Now, I do have these washi tape-like things here. I'm not sure why they put washi tape in the kit. There's not a place for washi tape in the academic planner that I know of. So I think what we're going to do is just that. We're going to use it as washi. And so we're going to fill this in here. And come on. And then I'm going to cut it. And then we'll put this piece here. Does it fit? Okay. Ooh, it does fit. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so we have this piece here. Pink is up. So we'll go ahead and put this in here. All right, there is a section at the top here that I do have to fill in, but I needs to go all the way across and I'm not gonna keep your time. And the other thing is we I make a note of step counters 
So there is some little um, check off boxes here. So self care gets one. It all goes on the box that I write in. So this is just a way for me to remember to check your steps and write them down. And I've really kind of enjoyed doing this step thing. I've been, I got the app on my phone when we went to Disney World. And because I wanted to see how many steps we walked and how many or how many miles we walked every day. And I was not shocked. Um, but ever since then, it's like, oh, how many did you walk today? Oh, you didn't walk very many today. And I was a little under the weather. So while that was up, while I was trying to get over a cold, I didn't really do any walking. I just watched TV and snuggled with my dog and made videos. Um, so, uh-oh, that doesn't go there. No, it doesn't. And that one doesn't go there. I have to keep my pattern or I'm going to get lost here. Okay, so the only thing left on this sticker sheet is three dots and these two black kind of washy things. Now, I'll show you how I set up the top noted section um, because I note several different things. Uh, weigh in. Um, uh, I get leg cramps, those kinds of things all go in the noted section. So I only have um, six here and I need 14. So I'm going to use some from Mojo that I'm hoping will match fairly good. So, um, and I don't want to use them all on the one side. So I'm going to intermix them a little bit here. And that way we can, um, hmm, now, well, I only have that little piece, so that, and I can't write on the black, so that is not usable. Okay, so we have the orange here, which is really kind of a coral color, which I thought matched really well with um, the sticker kit. And then I have, in that's from Kel's book. And then from Mojo's book, this is kind of too dark and too pink, but it's really close. So I think we're going to see what we need and go from there. So um, I drink, I have a morning drink, and so I make a little checkoff box for that. And that's what I need the dots for. So I think... We'll keep it soft and we'll do all of the dots in this color. So I'm, again, I'm just going to do this side, show you how I do this side. And then this is just to make sure that, did you drink your, your drink this morning? That essentially is my breakfast. And um, it's not like, you know, it's just something I enjoy drinking in the morning. Okay, so that's that. And then I need two boxes for Noted. Okay, now when I pull out that neutral book, the color is still is quite different. This looks okay, but that is not good. And the other thing I just realized is that she didn't put any small boxes in her books. There are only two pages, and she has a lot of words, dates, and full-size boxes, but no little boxes in these books, which is okay because I'll eventually use them, but I was thinking there was little boxes in there. So then we're going to have to go back to, let's see, she only ha we have six of these. So let's just do every other one, and then Thursdays I'll use one of these. That'll work. Um, so we're looking for the taupey color little boxes. And I think that's them right there. And yes, they will work. So we're just going to go with this color all the way across, right underneath. There we go. And we're just going to stay with this color. To keep it, although the 
I cannot find the peachy pink coral. I can't get close enough, so we're going to have to stay with what we have. Well, ladies, that's it. All done, all said, all through. I think it turned out kind of cute. Um, the tan topi shape boxes are from Mojo's uh, Autumn book. And I was able to go ahead and do every one. I had an all ball that always goes on Thursday and then back to every other one. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about these three boxes. I feel like something is missing here, but I don't have anything else to put there. Actually, I take that back. We have this black piece. So I don't know, do we want to put that on top of it? And then just kind of fill that box up? I think maybe, maybe so, huh? Okay, um, so what I added was the black washi to the box. It's still kind of open there, but I think I'm gonna just leave it the way that it is. And then um, I had three dots left, and I thought, okay, I'll just put them over the peach. They were a little bigger than I thought they would be, but it just a check-off box, right? So it still looks good. And the last thing I always like to show is that of these two sticker sheets, I used the whole kit on this collection, minus this little piece of washi, this one sticker here, and about five of the little tiny headers that they have. So that's it for this layout, ladies. Thanks for your patience. I hope you have a great time and that you want to come back and see me. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, leave me an emoji or a comment. I can't wait to meet those that are watching me. You guys have a great day. Bye.